Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have a DIY and I am participating in a collaboration hosted by Ria's World of Ideas. For the collaboration, we are to use five items or less from Dollar Tree and this does not include paint or glue, etc. So if you guys want to see how I made my scale, stay tuned and keep watching. You will need one of these metal trays from Dollar Tree, a party gift box, one of these skull decorations, these party plates, some spray paint in white and in black as well, and some white acrylic paint. So first you're going to get your metal tray and spray paint it in the white spray paint. Make sure you spray paint both the front and the back of the tray. Next, you are going to take those party plates and remove one of them from the pack and you will start to spray paint that in white as well. I only had to spray paint the front because since it was clear, it showed right through the back. Next, you are going to trim off your ribbon handle off of that gift box and you are going to begin spray painting that as well in the color white. And I just did the outside of the box because the inside will not be showing. Okay, next you're going to take that skull decor, remove the head, and then you are going to cut off that little piece on top. I did have to go back later on and kind of cut it off the little piece bits that were left with a box cutter, but it wasn't too hard to remove it. Like I said, just make sure you flatten that top part and then you're going to take your black paint and spray that entire piece as well. You mainly just need to get that bottom ring because it's like a golden color and you just want it to all be black. Now I just wanted a more like distressed look so I started um, painting it with some acrylic paint just dabbing it on and it just gave it like that old vintage look. Once everything dried, I just took some black acrylic paint and I distressed it a little bit. Just painting like the edges and the sides of every piece. You could also use like a Sharpie marker as well. I ended up going back over it with a Sharpie marker just because I wanted it to look more solid in some places. So yeah, that's also an option. Once everything is dry, we're going to begin gluing our pieces together. So I'm going to take that box and put that stand up on top and glue it. I would suggest using E6000 or some other type of stronger glue. I just used hot glue for video purposes. Now we're going to take our tray and glue that right up on top of the stand. Now 
Now that it's all done and put together, you are going to print out a scale face and glue it onto your plate. All I did was take a glue stick, put some on the back of that paper, and then just stuck it straight onto the plate and it stayed in place. Now that the scale face has been glued on, you're just going to kind of see where you want it to be placed at, and then you're going to begin to glue it on. And now it's complete. All that's left to do is just decorate it.